In this video, I want to show you an update. These are my three front window curtain panels that I have been piecing. This is a handy stitch project, but I have to say a little bit of this I did with a Singer 1588 because I had it out and it was easy. Um, the Dexter handheld sewing machine and the Sun handheld sewing machine will also um, piece um, once you get a four patch block done when you go to piece it to the next four patch block you're going through six layers and all three of those will go through six layers I also tested the um, Sunbeam uh, handheld stitcher which is just like the smart tech and that also went through it but with a little bit it went slower and a few skipped stitches if you want to do it without batteries I recommend either the Sun or the Dexter and with batteries the vintage as seen on TV handy stitch with handy stitch printed right on the machine um, it's different from the um, handy stitches coming out of China without the printing I think there's just a little bit of a manufacturing difference so anyway here are my three curtain panels and what they would need at this point is for me to add the sashing on either side to fit them to the window and I have them hung up on the front windows and I was like you know what what a beautiful quilt that is and this is the point of the video um, I had said in the first video that you can extend this four patch three layer handy stitch um, eight inch square block to a quilt and this to me looks like the center panel of a quilt so those are three blocks top to bottom and the blocks are eight inches so those if I put these three pieces together I will have um, three blocks by 11 blocks and that's roughly 24 inches wide by like almost 70 or 70 something I didn't um, 80 it should be 88 I'm not sure if it's really that long 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yep so it'd be 88 inches long which means it would be a quilt um, once I make it wider that would cover the pillow area um, which would be a nice quilt and I have to say this makes a wonderful summer weight quilt now there's already a bug on here um, three layers muslin on the back and what I was going to do when I first saw uh, I think it was this panel I was like oh I could hand quilt that um, and it would be beautiful but because it's a rag style quilt that kind of goes against the whole this is really fast and easy thing um, so what I would do is tie it in the center and you have a beautiful patchwork tied quilt so I have a few choices here I can either add the sashing to each panel to make it wide enough to match the window and it would be about seven inches on each of these or I can add another row of blocks um, and make it four across and that would match the window um, in this case it would be six across instead of five or um, I can sew the three pieces together along this edge and at this point it would be about 24 by like I said 88 and I can make 11 more blocks and make the quilt wider um, this has been very fast to put together I haven't pressed it yet you'll see wrinkles and and stuff um, but I'm thinking even if you do I did each of these is a uh, is nine four patch blocks I mean that took like a, an hour maybe and so for me to make 11 more blocks and put it together make 11 more blocks and make this a quilt um, it's a wonderful summer weight quilt and then you tie it at the center of each four patch block 
and you've made a quilt. Um, so it, those are three options. Sashing, more blocks to widen the panel on each of them, or put it together as a quilt and add more blocks for the width that you want. And um, I actually have enough fabric right now. Sorry, a B. Um, I have enough of the cotton squares left to make 11 more blocks. So I'm thinking I'm not going to get curtains this time and I'm going to end up with another quilt, which is, which is great. Um, especially if it does cover the pillowcase area. It'll be very pretty um, on the bed. And you can go as wide as you want. So I'll probably add um, 32, 40. I could add up to three more rows and it would be 48 inches wide. And for my use, it would be more like a bed topper. Um, I wouldn't need to add any length. So from this point on, once I get the three pieces sewn together, I'd be making rows of 11 four patch blocks and add the width as I wanted to. It's very easy to do and you can do it with a handheld stitcher. You can piece it by hand um, and sew it by hand. That would take longer. You can also do it with a Model 20 or you can do it with your regular old sewing machine. An easy way to put a quilt together. You can also substitute, I have hankies uh, and bandanas for the middle layer. You can put batting in there and then you've got a heavier quilt. Simple four patch blocks. As you can see in the view, the curtains won out. I was very tempted to make a quilt. Um, I took some time thinking about it and then decided that my original idea was based on uh, my dog, who you probably hear barking, um, my other dog, and all the animals I've had in my life that love looking out the window. And you may find that with every project you go through all these different options of what you can do um, with a simple machine like a handy stitch and yet you end up sticking to your original plan. So there are, um, those are the side windows, this is the center window panel. These are basically done the way they are. Um, be, they're wide enough for the windows, they hang well. It's a wonderful weight. Um, this is what they look like on the rag side and I do need to trim uh, the seam allowances a little more. I left them blank. I ended up leaving them blank simply because I wanted to get them done and I couldn't decide on whether to put the rhododendron on or the tree or flowers or the animals. So I left them blank and I can always fill that side in whenever I want to. And I'm showing you that because you can make a decision as to whether you want the patchwork side to go facing out or the rag side to go facing out. Um, so it's an easy handy stitch or handheld stitcher project that, um, I mean, you could make these all the time and change your curtains all the time. And because it's patchwork, you're not really having to change the whole room with a color um, scheme or anything like that. So um, a very good project. The curtains went out. I just found an auction on eBay, uh, 208 inch squares for about um, $30 with the shipping. That's enough to make two quilt tops. Or if you wanted to match um, the seams, uh, line everything up with eight inch squares on either side, that's enough fabric to make a qu one quilt two sides. Um, and all you'd need is the batting. So that's like a $40 with the batting, say $45 investment in making a quilt. Um, so it's inexpensive to do it this way, patchwork, and yet just as special. So these are my handy stitch curtains.